Hi guys, it's Chris from the Tabletop War Gamers. Alright, today I got another unboxing video for you guys. Um, it's gonna, I'm going to be unboxing the, the German Grenadiers box set. It's the new uh, the new German infantry box set from Warlord Games. So um, I'll be opening it up, showing you what's in there, what's on the sprues, uh, giving you a little idea of what you can make up with this box, and I'll be letting you know um, a little bit of an idea of what I'm going to be making out of the box, just to give you some ideas. Um, so here we go, let's open it up. <laughs> so there's quite a bit of kit inside here. So I just pull this out. And, uh, So here we go. We got lots of bases. There's five sprues of bases. These are the new bases from Warlord. I don't know if you've seen these before, guys. They've got like um, a little lip around them there. Can you see? There's like a little lip around the edge there. And on the back, they've got Warlord games on the back. Yeah, pretty nice. They're quite thin again. They're uh, quite thin, like the old the other bases. They just got this nice little lip on them now. Pretty nice. And then you get five of these. <laughs> five of these you get with all the guys on. So there's a nice old uh, nice stack of infantry here. In the box you get thirty infantry. They're all late to war German grenadiers. Um, there's some nice poses on the sprue. There's only one kneeling guy. There's no prone guys. And there's six guys on each sprue. F five standing, one kneeling. So it's uh, it's quite a nice quite a nice uh, selection of poses and stuff as well. There's two guys with the new um, camouflage coats on. These look really cool. There's this guy here. You can see him just there. He's got a nice coat, a camouflage coat. And this guy here. He's got the big coats on. You can see the back as well. And that guy there. there. The rest of them have the standard uh, late war German army uniform, I think. You can see there you go. There's these four, four guys here. I'll show you the fronts again. Yeah, they've got like a sort of standard um, German uniform and they got like the braces coming down with the, the row of pockets and pouches across. It looks, uh, looks really nice. The detail on these is really, really nice. There's a lot, a lot of bits. There's actually another base on the sprues as well. And there's a lot, a lot of bits. Really nice detailed bits. Give you a nice little slow pan around all the all the sprue there, and then I'll go through everything that's on it with you, so you know exactly what you're getting in the box set. Okay, so on the sprue we have a big old selection of heads at the top. Some there's two with the caps, with the little uh, I think the NCO caps, I believe, or the there's one um, officer with the, the nice big officer's hat. Looks really cool. Nice real lieutenant. And we got lots of guys then with varying helmets. With, you know, some with straps around them, some with uh, the camo stuff tied over the top. And some of the guys have their mouths open like they're shouting. Others are just. Uh, just looking stern, <laughs> fearsome. And you got this one little guy on the end with no no helmet at all, just his hair out. You can see the back of all the heads there. Pretty cool. And above them, we've got some arms for some rifles and uh, to hold the rifles and the STG 44s in. I'm clutching a grenade there, stick grenade. Got a nice ammo belt like on the early war set, early war Germans, if anybody's had them. 
It's an ammo belt, looks the same as that one. Get a pistol with a pouch there. You got a couple of uh, looks like med kit pouches, I guess, or uh, but you got a spare helmet there, so you can stick it on top of one of the caps or the stick it on that guy's this guy's back or something, you know, next to his pack or something, make it look cool. I think this one here is the rifle grenade attachment that you can stick under the barrel, which is really cool. And the piece next to it there, I'll just quickly if I know what that is for you. That's actually, yeah, it's actually a bayonet. <laughs> so you can attach that little bayonet onto one of the rifles. That's pretty cool. Up there you got the PPSH, the pop shot, the old um, Russian S captured SMG. Very nice. This little tiny piece here is actually an Iron Cross medal. So you can award the Iron Cross to some of your soldiers. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I'll have that on some of mine, I guess. <laughs> we got a rifle there. And then we've got uh, MP40 again with a nice strap to go over the shoulder there. So you can have it slung, slung across your shoulder. And the strap on this, so you can sling that across the guy's shoulder as well. Really nice. Reminds me a lot of the early war German set. There was a few rifles in there with the straps. I made use of them. They were nice little touches. You got another rifle. A nice pouch there. Looks like um, you know, it could hold documents or uh, possibly a med kit, you know, if you want to make up a nice medic model or an officer. You got another two arms clutching a rifle. Looks like it's raised for firing. You got a Panzerfaust. And two arms clutching a Panzerfaust, ready to shoot one. You got an arm here with a ammo box, nice for a loader or an MG carrier. Uh, looks very similar, but with a different sort of rolled up sleeve, similar to the Blitzkrieg Germans again, but with a nice rolled up sleeve on it, so it's a little bit different there. MP40 with the stock folded up, a couple more rifle arms. And you got the guys, you got a pair of arms clutching a uh, rifle again. <laughs> I think these are um, rifles are Guerhers, I think, are they? Or car, car 98Ks? Yeah, I think they're car 98Ks actually. There's the knee for the, craw for the, pr the crouching guy. And this bit here, this is a really cool little piece. This is actually a spare barrel for the MG42. So you can stick that on the top of the backpack or on your guy's back for the MG42 or the loader. That'd be a nice little flavour piece there for you guys. This bit here is really cool as well. This is um, a hand with what looks like a map or a book in it. Uh, really cool for a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of story or a bit of you know character to your models. You can have the officer holding the map book, you know, looking at his map, or you could have maybe uh, I thought you could have like a medic oh, leaning over a wounded soldier or something, looking in his handbook to see what procedure, what he should do to heal the soldier or something. <laughs> yeah, or you could use it on a, an air observer to have him, you know, checking his survey map to see. Where the coordinates to call in his airstrike. It's another cool feature there. And just next to it there you've got a hand clutching a pair of binoculars which will go nicely with this arm. So it'll work nice in conjunction. So you've got one of these on each sprue, don't forget. So that means you've got five pairs of these. So you know the arms look fairly neutral for the uniform. It's just sort of a just sort of a rolled up sleeve. So it would go nice if you use it with your late war Germans box set or your early war Germans. You could, you know, borrow the, a spare set of arms, make a little observer or a, or a, a lieutenant for for your early war Germans or your other late war German sets. You don't have to use them with this set as well. It's really nice. <laughs> I've uh, pinched the early war, some of the early war bits for my late war Germans a couple of times. <laughs> You know, the guys with the loader hat with the ammo with case in his hand holding the box up. Yeah, really nice. And belt, ammo belt on the neck and stuff. Really cool. So you got another couple of rifle arms 
with the little straps hanging down and here you have one of the STG 44s there's actually three STG 44s on each sprue so that means you're going to get 15 guys with STG 44s so it's quite a few guys so you can make um, you could bang in a 10 man squad or what I'm going to do is make two 7 man squads and I'm going to save the last one for my lieutenant <laughs> just to give him a nice bit of firepower for the lieutenant we got a shouldered MG42 nice little posing nice little piece to make a little posing model you know strutting along holding his rifle, his machine gun up you know uh, as if he's on the march or something that looks pretty cool we got some entrenching tools, trench tool with a, with a knife is it, uh, yeah. We got some packs, some water bottles, some pouches, you know. Um, there's, a, there's a bed roll on the top of that one, nice little bag there. Another STG 44, just on the one arm there, so you have to get the other arm out to the to support the front of the barrel. Like. But it looks nice the way they've moulded the, the straps on the like this time. Just a nice little addition to the models, isn't it? There's a couple of uh, ammo pouches for the for the submachine guns or the or the STG 44s. You got the alarm there, bracing arm. I'm guessing it holds the front of that. Up. Then we have an MG 42 with a bipod. It's nice. You could stick it on there, and make it model up the crouching guy to be resting the bipod on a wall, a little wall in front of him or something, or or just have it, just the bipod hanging loose on the end of the barrel like, so he's walking along with it dangling, <laughs> looking pretty cool. Um, a couple more ammo pouches for submachine guns or assault rifles. Another assault rifle here, so you can pop this into one of the arms, you know, one of the rifle arms I guess. Pose it up, make it look really nice. A couple of gas masks, bed roll, and a nice little pouch again on the end. So all in all, a really, really nice little detailed sprue there for you guys. Plenty of options to build stuff there. Nice little flavour pieces as well as practical. Um, nice little details. Quite a few extra bits you could carry across into other kits as well. If you wanted to, you know... Uh, Add some further detail into your other kits, your other your late war Germans or your uh, your early war Germans even. Um, so on the sprue you get three STG 44s, you get two MG 42s, you get one, two, three, uh, four rifles. One, two. Two MP40s, a pop a shot, PPSH, um, rifle grenade, two Panzerfausts. Yeah, I think that's all the weapons you get. Yeah, so you get quite a bit there. So you can make quite a lot of uh, so quite a lot of variations you can make there. I personally, I think I'm going to make two seven-man squads with STG 44s. I think I'll make another eight-man squad then with two LMGs and I think I'll have all the rest as riflemen. Maybe a sub for the NCO. And I'm gonna make a lieutenant with an assistant. Um, I'll probably make an observer and I'll see what else I got room for then at the end. <laughs> I think that's fairly close to the limit there. So I might have two or three guys I think spare at the end. I'll see what I can make out of that. Maybe a medic or something. Maybe some assistance. Extra assistance. Um, yeah. All in all, a really, really nice kit. Here's the, uh, here's the instruction sheet you get with it there. It just shows you all the, all what, uh, what each part is couple of ideas for some poses across the top and on the back then you've got a just a big selection of, of models you can make up just give you some options some ideas some nice little uh, 
I like the, the guy clutching all the pans of Faust. Uh, he looks kind of cool. <laughs> the sniper takes him out though, your squad's screwed. <laughs> all your pans of Faust just died. Uh, I like the way they got the MG team with the loader, with the spare barrels on their backpacks. They look really cool. I think that's a, that's a nice little nice little idea there and uh, yeah yeah they, they just really nice I really like these um, yeah like the officer and the chap there the camo coats you know these nice coat new coats they've added on the models look really nice there's a couple of guys in the middle with them on you just see they look really cool they just look really cool there, uh, the big uh, camo coats they got. Yeah, so I'm going to make all mine up as veteran squads, because I've got a lot of regular squads already. Um, so, yeah, really cool. Last thing in the box then, we had a little sheet of decals to stick on the guys themselves. Some nice little patches for the arms, Some uh, I think there's some rank insignias, is it? Some some of the ones showing veterancy, um, possibly squad affiliations. If you guys know exactly what they are, pop a little comment in down below. Let us all know what they are. <laughs> I'll try and look some up myself online, and I'll let you know what I find out about them. Um, it's a really nice little addition to a box of infantry, I think. You know, it's not often you get a box of infantry with decals in the in the box with it. It's usually only reserved for the vehicles, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I think it's a nice little touch. There's a nice, uh, some nice, nice insignias and stuff there. It's really cool. So, all in all, very, very nice box set of infantry. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Chris from Tabletop Wargamers. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Any comments you got, guys, chuck them down in the bottom. And uh, see you all in the next video. Stay tuned. Cheers, guys. Bye.